people of God, be careful with what you see, what you hear, and what is happening around you. You were here with me on cross overnight. You listened to my prophecy about the church. Were you here? You listened to what? Before the prophecy came, was there anything? Satan has threw a net to catch desperate ones. Since they gave birth to you and you grow up, up to today, which man of God did BBC come and project that he did good? If you know one, name. Huh? It means the BBC you see is created for a reason, for a purpose. By our fruits, we shall be known. The thief that has come to steal, kill, and destroy is actively on duty. You have to watch and pray. There is no revelation you want to hear. Even though Prophet T.B. Joshua is not in our midst in person, before he departed, he has already laid out a map for your life. The prophecies continue to unfold and be fulfilled. Tell your neighbor, I am not a lost sheep. I know my shepherd. And my shepherd knows me. While I was out, out there, news people sending me from UK, from US. I said, What is happening? I said, Don't tell me what is happening. What? There's nothing happening. Satan has been defeated, he's only making noise. Satan has been what? Yes. Only an empty vessel will make the loudest noise. From creation, I mean, what I know when I came into this world and what I've learned in this world, I have come to conclude light and darkness will never have a relationship. No matter how you mix them, they are like oil and water that cannot be compactable. A disciple is someone who learns the ways of his mentor, adopt his lifestyle, and begin to give birth to what he has acquired from the mentor. I can stand here and say I'm a disciple. I don't need vote. I don't need election. I don't need BBC to tell me. By my fruits, you know me. Anyone who is not properly examined, who has not properly been processed, is tempted and likely to talk rubbish through wrong channels, but only wrong ears will interpret and take it as a message. I do not have time about that. But the reason why I talk about this today to you again is because Jesus said it all. You Galileans, don't pray for me. Go and pray for yourselves. Don't pray for me. Go and pray for what? You have ears you cannot hear. Eyes. So I am looking at the younger disciples generation. This is a message for you. Don't only look at the BBC what they said on a bad life. We should look at it. What message are they passing? They are telling us that Satan wants to rule the world. That's the message that they're telling us. They're telling us that Satan is building. And for Satan to build, he will first look at those ministries that are creating an impact in the entire world. But they have ventured into a wrong one.
This one, synagogue church of all nations, if before now they had four overflow, from now they will have nine. Do you need anyone to convince you? Is there any family around the world that does not know who is Prophet T.B. Joshua? If T.B. Joshua is a demon, we love that demon. It's a good demon. If all demons could be doing what he is doing, we will be worshipping them. You take people, noisemakers, some of them have 8 o'clock eyes, 4 o'clock eyes. Take people with pimples on their faces. They go and stand and they're talking. They're talking what? People that you get, you cannot purchase a toothbrush. You're talking about who? Who are you talking about? It is not because we stay quiet that you think we cannot talk. We only stay quiet because you know that you are an empty vessel. After making so much noise, it is only left for a Zakam to come and clean you and throw you in a trash can. <laughs> Let me send you to the BBC. If you call them, tell them. They should begin by inviting disciples. What they wrote their disciples is not disciples. They're supposed to write their agents of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What they wrote their what? So it means even the journalists themselves, they, they, they are unschooled. They are illiterate. If you go to them, it is better to die for the truth. They are terrorists. They cannot write the word disciple. They should go and write their agents of what? Agents of darkness. Wanted to bring a great man of God down but their plans fail and they are lamenting around the world. That's what they should write there. They went there to the synagogue church of all nations. Their mission was to destroy and to stop what God is doing because they could not stop it. They left there with curses. The curses are hitting them today and they are crying out. One thing is clear. That altar of the synagogue church of all nations will fight. They will fight. When you are embarking to provoke a battle and you don't have revelation about the battle, don't provoke it. Because the time you'll be getting tired, that's the time the battle will start. We are men of revelation. Little did I know that a radio station can be so interested in men of God. So they know men of God too. Huh? They know men of God. Prophet T.B. Joshua has helped whites build schools. BBC has never announced. Even right there in England, where they are, they are disciples of Prophet T.B. Joshua. They are preaching the gospel all around. They cannot invite. They went and looked for Jack and Jill's. People with zigzag faces. And come and put. They look frustrated. Some have scabies and righteous on their body to come and stand and talk. Talk what? What can you say? Can something good come out of a bad vessel? Now, who is more popular? Is it not Prophet T.B. Joshua? Yes, huh? Yes. Free advertisement. Demons are all around you. You should identify them for who they are. Look at me standing here. If not that grace of God upon Prophet T.B. Joshua, you will see me here. No. Huh? No. You go and take robots. People that are programmed, they charge them like batteries. The batteries charge, get finished. To come and stand and talk. The Prophet T.B. Joshua did this, Prophet T.B. Joshua did that, Prophet T.B. Joshua did this, did that, did that. You have been there for 17 years Stealing money Stealing You cannot come and say what you did You only want to Oh my god It is very dangerous to embark on such kind of journeys I am advising you people I wouldn't have talked about this But I am advising you people 
If you did not call a man of God, don't fight the man of God. If you fight someone you did not call, God will fight you. God will give you an ulcer that will never dry. God will fight you. You will be sitting where you are sitting. Something is telling you to run and go and confess, but you cannot run. Because you make, your, you make yourself an agent of darkness. You talk nonsense. So please, be careful. Are you with me? Be careful. Don't entertain every news you hear. Satan needs disciple. God needs disciple. You are left with choice about your life. Anyone that failed in your school will likely say your teacher was not teaching well. Am I right? Yes. Huh? You are in school with people some at night they are reading the, the others they are in the night club. The time they are to write the exam they will first go and smoke banger and come and start copying people's names. As if they are answers. At the end of the season, when they failed, can they say something good about the school? If you want to hear something good about the school, look for the students that graduated with excellent degrees. They will tell you about that school. You cannot go and look for somebody who always comes to school and sit behind. Before the class finishes, the person has dodged and start asking the person about the teacher. Go to the one that succeeded in the hands of that teacher. If you are really a good Samaritan. So, be careful with good intention people. Good intention people are at epidemic. They are dangerous. They are like Qatar and cough. Airborne. Be careful with them. Amen. Amen. And don't waste your time entertaining such kind of news. Remember, work of God is not an election. The legacy of our spiritual grandfather will move from generation to generation. We, by the special grace of God, like men of God, they are like an international airport that transits you to where you're going. If you like, do whatever you do, you will land. And then we are going to stamp you to document your passport before you can transit to where you are. Somebody who communicates with the Holy Spirit, don't play with such persons. You can talk about Brother T.B. Joshua, but don't talk about Prophet T.B. Joshua. That is a wrong battle. Amen. Amen. You can talk about Brother Marcel, talk about Brother Marcel. You go far, you go far. The battle will go beyond your reasonable faculties. Are you with me? It will go beyond what you think. Hmm. So wash and pray. That was his last word. Tell your neighbor, wash and pray. Wash and pray. Mm, wash and pray. People who, who speed, the speed will draw like qui. They cannot even cut it. They use scissors to cut the speed because they are poor and desperate. Go and stand somewhere. They're opening fangs and talking. Eh? So it's very, 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 very bad. It's very, very bad to be rotten spiritually and be pollutive. It's very bad. So thank you. God bless you.